A group of people were asked if they had run a red light in the last year. 214 responded yes, and 426 responded no. We're asked to find the probability that if a person is chosen at random, they have run a red light in the last year. We're asked to give the answer as a simplified fraction, a decimal rounded to four decimal places, and as a percent. We call the probability of an event is equal to the favorable number of outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. In this case, the total number of outcomes will be the total number of respondents, which is 214 plus 426, which equals 640. This is the beginning denominator of the probability. And because we're looking for the probability that if a person is chosen at random, they have run a red light in the last year, the favorable number of outcomes will be the number who responded yes, which we can see is 214. This indicates a probability that if a person is chosen at random, they have run a red light in the last year, is 214 divided by 640. And now let's go ahead and simplify this fraction. The only common factor between 214 and 640 is two. Dividing the numerator and denominator by two, we have the simplified fraction of 107 300 twentieths. 107 happens to be a prime number. And now to convert to a decimal, we divide 107 by 320. Let's do this on the calculator. Actually using the Desmos scientific calculator, if we enter the original fraction of 214 divided by 640, we can click on the Convert to Fraction button on the right, which gives us a simplified fraction. And going back to the decimal form, because we have a seven in the fifth decimal place, the probability rounded to four decimal places is 0 0.3344. And then recall to convert a decimal to a fraction, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, which gives us 33.44%. I hope you found this helpful.